As a little kid, I was rescued on a weekly basis. I have people tell me, oh yeah, you know, we used to rescue you like once a week, you'd be washed out to sea. When I was a young man, I wanted to be the greatest big wave rider that ever lived. A lot of people don't even know I'm deaf a lot of times until they see me signing, you know, because I'm just a racer to them. And I started riding when I was like three years old. I had a little 50 bike. You know, I fell in love with it. I just realized that was like something I wanted to do. I mean, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I just sort of felt this connection with my motorcycle. Something inside told me that this was me. This is what I needed to do. We're dealing with very complex issues. You got electric vehicles which have huge social value, potentially, but if you're driving an electric vehicle, is it zero emissions? Of course not. Is zero tailpipe, it's zero emissions on the car, but there's emissions somewhere at a power plant. Looking just at the car, just at the tailpipe is not enough. We've got to reach deeper and look further. The Millennium Wave was a, a wave in Tahiti that represented a kind of a culmination of my life's work and my life's dreams. It was unlike any wave that I had been on before. You know, I had an inner battle during the ride of the wave, that little devil and that little angel battling over what you're gonna do, and one's going, jump off, jump off, and the other one's like, well, if you jump off, you can't make it. The spray hit me so hard that everything disappears. So then you're in a moment of invisibility where you're like am I going the right direction where you know I hope I continue the right course to come out and then that kind of dissipates and then you all of a sudden you come out into the light and you're like wow yeah I made that you get a feeling of achievement that I can only describe as every single part of your body feels that you feel every cell in your body feels it You know, one time, long time ago, I almost quit. I was knocked unconscious and I knocked out my two front teeth. So my mom and dad, I, I told them, I was like, you know, I need to learn how to jump. I need to figure this out and I, I really want to do it. So I just, I learned how to jump. Now I love it. It's like the most fun part, you know? Obviously riding a motorcycle and jumping these jumps could be dangerous, but I'm not afraid to take a chance. To me personally, that's exactly how you succeed. It's the battle between me and me. When you want to be the best, you're battling yourself. It's up to us to be the ones out there to solve the problems. There's a growing consciousness about the limitations of natural resources and what needs to be done. This is a time that's going to give us the most opportunity to advance as human beings, become not just better human beings and not just more efficient human beings, but also we do have an opportunity to still have fun, still have a passion for creating mobility for the future. We have a vision of how things could be. Part of that includes having developed solar cells, which can convert sunlight into electricity, and electricity into hydrogen to power a fuel cell vehicle. The dream is to power an electric vehicle in a zero pollution way. The dream is to power an electric vehicle in a zero pollution way. The dream is to power an electric vehicle in a zero pollution way. The Millennium Way was the fulfillment of a life dream. That was all the time I cried and all the broken bones and stitches and all the stuff that I've had happen in a wave, in one moment. Hopefully I'm gonna reach my goal to qualify for a men's national race. Hopefully I can be the first girl to do that. That's my goal. I, I know I can do it. I know I can achieve my goals and it's a good feeling to be first and be successful. There was a first dream, and then there was a second, then a third, then a fourth. It was a dream of successive improvement. For us, it's probably never stopped. There's no end. Every great wave that I ride helps to feed me into the next one and ride a greater one and have a better understanding of it. Always the goal modifies. It always grows. It always adapts. There's no end in sight.